Okay, uh, welcome to this uh, brief tutorial on uh, basically on Logisim, uh, which is the digital circuit uh, simulator we'll be using uh, for at least the first half of the unit. So we'll certainly be getting quite familiar with it. I don't intend to, right now to go through all the different things, but just wanted to kind of give the basic rundown of how it works uh, and to give you a sense of where where you might want to look at. Uh, for future things as well. Um, so basically what we have here is uh, a canvas which is on the right. You'll see little dots which basically it's like a grid. Uh, we can lay things in. We can actually, uh, there's lots of ways we can change how it looks I think. We can zoom in for example uh, which may or may not be useful, well will be useful actually particularly when you've got complex circuits and you want to sort of get into the details. Uh, and, do, and indeed circuits do get quite complex quite quickly as you all learn as you go uh, through the first few weeks. Okay, so I'm going to point out just a few things that are of particular uh, interest. So here's a pin. We're going to use pins quite a bit because they are a way to basically set bits on or off. So for example, I, I might bring in a couple of pins. So I click on the pin, I come across, I don't have to drag it, I just bring the mouse and then I click wherever I want it. I could also, uh, if I wanted to, I could um, copy it with a, you know, by bringing the, um, the, uh, the cursor across it and then going a copy and then a paste in the usual way. So control C, control V type stuff, or if you're on a Mac, it's command. So we've got another one there. Uh, so we've got three pins at the moment. And if we wanted to set them, at the moment they're set to disabled, but if we bring in a big pointer finger here, we actually can click on them to set them to zero or one. So obviously uh, on or off. Um, well, actually on or off is, may, you know, usually one means on and zero means off, but actually it can also mean the opposite uh, of that. Um, uh, we'll get to that. But um, okay, so... That's some, and there's other things here. There's a clock. Uh, we will use a clocks quite a bit uh, in the in the coming weeks. We'll actually use a splitter as well at some point. Not not because they're particularly something of interest in this unit, but um, more out of necessity actually. But uh, we'll get to that. Uh, another thing. So uh, we've got gates. Of course, we'll use gates. Um, and so actually just to sort of demonstrate a basic sort of circuit, let's bring in an AND gate. So here's an AND gate uh, and I'll just clean up, I'll get rid of that third switch. Now, there's a few things to notice about the gate. At the moment it has one, two, three, four, five inputs by default, but actually we can change that. Uh, and in fact for an AND gate, if you only had two inputs for example, you would want to actually do this. You would need to go in and you'll see down here the attributes for the selected component. Now one of the things you'll need to do uh, is set, for example, the number of inputs to be what it is you actually are going to be using, in this case two inputs, because what I'm going to do is connect up and I simply have to drag from the um, point here across, uh, connect up the two inputs to the AND gate. Now um, note also that I can change the orientation of a component, so at the moment by default um, this the AND gate is facing east, which means that its output is coming out to the east. But I could easily, let's just bring in another one just to show. Here's another AND gate. Now I might want to change that to face uh, west instead, so I just face it that way and it flips it the other way. Uh, and so all of these things are, are, are changeable down here in the attributes. But actually I don't want that at the moment, so I'll get rid of it. And I do that by, I can delete things simply by selecting it and pressing delete. So in most cases, your intuition is correct in terms of how things work. Another thing we'll use a lot is LEDs as a way of displaying output to ourselves uh, to verify correctness. So if I wanted to connect up the output, I just have to drag across a wire. Uh, in this case, actually, by default, it was facing west, which is, um, I guess, based on the fact that most things here have an output to the east, then things that are showing the output itself will have a connection to the west. But again, I can change that the same way. So at the moment, what we have is an AND gate connected up to two pins, which are set to zero. So rightly at the moment, the output is zero because one in order for this to output a, a one or an on signal, uh, we would need both the inputs to be on. So if I connect them both on, we see the light come on and that's how it works. And so then if I wanted to save this, I would just have to go save as, and then I could type in, um, you know, whatever, and gate example, and then be amazed by my own genius 
so connecting up an AND gate. All right, so that's the basics of, of, of Logisim. Um, there are other things you can see up here. We've got sort of fast, easily accessible things. That's a, a, a NOT gate, if you like, or a, a inverter. We also refer to that as an inverter. In under memory, we're going to, in the few, next few weeks, play a lot with D flip-flops and JK flip-flops in particular. Uh, we may also play with um, uh, these displays down here. Um, they might come into play later on. Um, there are components we probably won't be using because we're going to be doing it ourselves. Uh, because this unit is about sort of the fundamentals, we, we're not going to simply use things like shift registers and counters that are pre-made for us. Uh, we're going to be making our own ones. So actually, we probably won't play a lot with these things or any of these things like uh, RAM and ROM. But obviously, what you can see here is that there are a lot of components that, and in fact, if you wanted to go on and do sort of quite you know complex things, uh, there's lots of scope there. Okay, so anyway, that's that's basically the end of this tutorial. Uh, we're going to get a lot more familiar with Logisim as we go along, but just wanted to give you a, a sense of of what you can do. One last thing, while I remember it, uh, we can also do things like label. Um, so this is and gate. We will use labels a lot, as you might imagine. It's hard to keep track of what's going on. It's effectively like comments in code. Um, you know, you might label your inputs, for example, and things like this. The other thing you can also do, uh, which is often convenient when you've got repeating circuits, uh, is you can actually copy whole circuits by dragging across Command C, Control C, whatever your operating system lets you do, and then you can paste in the usual way as well. Uh, and of course, all of these are up here as well in the usual place. Okay, so uh, that's it basically uh, for this tutorial, and. Um, the best thing you can do, of course, is have a play uh, and have fun with it.